Hi guys, welcome back to my talk on ChatGPT and how it works in your academic research. In the previous video, we uncovered how ChatGPT fakes references. Well, it is not the fault of ChatGPT. The creator of the artificial intelligence tools are just trying to play it safe. Okay, but the problem now is ChatGPT has given you a very good write-up and you like to keep the write-up except that the references are fake. And you know that in academic research, you have to have real references, like references from people and the works they have done in the past. Then how do we get past these referencing issues? The little time I spent using these tools, trying to find ways around the referencing, I realized that using the prompts Using sources from previous works of literature together with your own prompt forces ChatGPT to use real works, but but it doesn't work 50% of the time, so it's more like a 50-50 chance. But what I found to work is when you do the referencing yourself, at least ChatGPT has done most of the work for you, getting the right up done, isn't it? The whole idea of referencing is to make sure you have sources that you have gotten your facts from. That's just the whole idea of referencing. So we can copy each line of the write-up ChatGPT has provided, we will search it and you will see related sources. All you just have to do is, once you see one that has the same idea as what that line is, just reference it. Just cite and reference it and problem solved. Simple. And I want to believe that you I want to believe that you watching this video right now know about citation and references, so that shouldn't be a problem. And another thing you can do is that you already know keywords in your research topic, right? Go to Google Scholar for example, search on Google Scholar using the keywords of your topic. Then you are going to see a list of journals, books, or sources that relate to your work. Then you can take your time to read, read them, read them. You will see one or two that relate with each and every line given to you by ChatGPT. All you just have to do is reference it using those as the sources. It's as simple as that. Now this is very good because you won't be caught for plagiarism because you didn't just copy a line from that source and paste it there. No, it's something that communicates the idea of that source, which is exactly why, which is exactly what plagiarism isn't. You get the one I would recommend you to use is the last one I mentioned. Go online, search, go to um, academic search engines search for the keywords of your topic read them and once you see that any line provided by ChatGPT relates to that just cite that source cite that journal as the source of that idea and you're safe until i see you guys in the next one peace